at work you little fucking idiot that's gotta hurt man what is happening man i need some motherfucking nuisance man this is so fucked up man i can't really think man i'm just fucked up man <laughs> hello everyone it's Rainy stranger and today we're back with very spooky episode five the first game we're gonna play here is called satiety by the way i'm wearing these glasses because i'm actually using a flashlight so that you can see me better so uh, you're not welcome let's start with it it looks pretty nice like, it looks like it has a unique style to it. Okay, yeah, face looks the same. Right, of course. Oh! Oh, that's cool, damn. Okay, a little bit of a shake there, that's okay. Oh no, is that B-L-O-O-D? <laughs> hmm, there is a blood bottle here. No, no. Oh wait, <laughs> I already forgot. What happened here? Did anyone get injured? Or is it mine? He would not remember that? He would not see that? Vent. There's a vent here. Hmm, it feels wobbly. Okay, can we pull it then? I guess we need a screwdriver. Uh, nice little toilet. There's a whole fucking valve on these. I, I, don't, I don't think I've seen many of these kind of toilets, so maybe the valve is actually logical. <laughs> there are sounds coming here, but... Is it the shower? I don't think so. It sounds like a clock or something. <laughs> of course. <clears throat> it is a clock. It is a grandfather clock. The clock is not working. Is it really not? It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It's not my it's not my fault. It's not my it's not my it's not my fault. It's not my it's not my fault. W A S D to rotate. That's actually kind of interesting. I usually when it's rotating, it's usually with mouse. Tap to put it back though, that's kind of weird. Okay, we got some really nice candle holder here. There's a sheet covering something underneath it. Should I uncover it? Yes. Oh, it's a rocking horse. Hmm, looks like a toy horse. It's a rocking toy horse for kids. Okay, can we go? Maybe, no. You're not a fan of fun, are you? Ah, there's a screwdriver, all right. W is the rotate, take. Let's just take it. <clears throat> okay. I have a screwdriver. Try to pry it open? No. <laughs> what if I say no? Okay, yeah. Makes sense. Okay. Huh? Did the key f fall out or did someone throw it at me? Alone. That is just a blank, pl black place. Ooh, okay. It's a rocking toy horse. You're not gonna mention the fact that it is actually rocking. Did you kick it on the way back? You have a key. Try using it. That's a very weird question. There's no other door here. Fuck! I did not fucking expect the chop scare like that. This game seemed like it's not gonna be that horror-esque. Holy fuck that got me. I know I might not seem all that, you know, frightened about that, but holy shit, that stopped my fucking heart. Father, guilt, father, fault, fault. Guilt. Here's something behind this bookshelf, but... Father, guilt... Oh, okay, so one, two... Okay, two for the father. Uh, is it guilt? One, two, three, four. Okay, and uh, fault, fault, two. So two for two. Oh shit! Back, back. What? Wait, what? Seven. Oh, because of the note. Now that's fucking clever. And also it's a very, <laughs> it's a, such a good chance that I, you know, did that by accident. But it's in the note. That was there two times. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, damn. 
that's that's one clever puzzle. Unfortunately, I didn't actually. Thankfully, <laughs> I didn't have to use my brain because I accidentally did it correctly. Oh no. T for the flashlight. Oh, for torch. Okay. That last jump scare wasn't very nice. Also, that crosshair is straight up for Minecraft. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Well, this guy doesn't look like he's, en he's enjoying life. Is this a tree chipper? Wood chipper? Or me grinder? Is that a camera? Are we doing some kind of a... Snuff kitchen? <laughs> okay, there's a fuse box. That's sparkling. Not good. It's a... I thought it was a pool table. <coughs> okay. Oh, there's another one here. Amogus. I have a screwdriver. Try to pry it open. What if I say no to these things? Doesn't look like it does anything. Okay, that's stopping completely. That's... Okay. Why are we so slow? I don't like this. This is... Holy shit. Hi, Samara. Is that you? Oh, hello. Thank God she wasn't fast. Jesus Christ, what is this game? When I was awake, I found myself arrested and inside of a police car. <laughs> Apparently, the police received a distress call from my daughter. It was found out that the blood in the bathroom is from my daughter. I hope that she's okay, as her body hasn't been found yet. Okay. Oh. So, Satiety was created within three weeks as submission of the Cinti Game uh, Jam submission for the theme. Wait, are we the bad guys? Okay, that's that's a common theme in horror games. But um, damn, uh, three weeks uh, for three weeks. To be honest, it's like average. It's not impressive for three weeks games, but it's definitely good. That fucking first jump scare got me. Really good, and I love the puzzle, seriously, even though I did guess basically complete it by by accident in a in a certain way. I just got lucky. That's that's just the way I would put it. Um but yeah, it was it was short, but uh, I, I don't think it's a demo either. I think this is the whole game. I may already have fucking forgotten what it said in the end, but I think that it's uh, just a jam game. But I do think that this has, you know, enough resources for it to continue, maybe, to, for it to be like a demo. I mean, there are tons and tons of uh, jam games that started as mere entries and are, are now developing into, you know, singular, actual, even fucking franchises. Like Amanda the Adventure was a jam game, and now it's, you know, now it's a full release on Steam and it's fucking awesome. Or I think it's on Steam, maybe it's actually free on itch, I'm not sure. But yeah, that was Satiety, and I'm gonna give this game, immediately, a uh, 7.5. I liked it, I liked the graphics, it was simple, it looks like it has, uh, you know, engaging story. Um, we have a we have a d daughter, and uh, there was some symbolism here and there. Um, I don't understand the questions, you know, why, why is it always asking yes or no? Because it genuinely seems like the no answer is just, like, cancel, don't do that, even though there is no other thing to do. So there never really seemed to be a point, even on revealing the sheet, I'm gonna guess that when you hit no, it's just gonna cancel that interaction. But other than that, yeah, this was pretty good. So let's move on to the next one. Don't touch to tie. By the way, sorry for that Nvidia request. Uh, it's in Czech. That's the language. It's not Slav. Uh, don't touch Tolayan bear. Space for start. This is so fucking loud, though. I need to. Sorry, but it genuinely is blasting my ears off. Even just the music. Okay, I'm not doing that because of jump scares. English or pizzikenk. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna choose English. Thank you. Okay, so this game was actually on like almost the top. So it seems like this game is pretty popular. Ultra, of course. Now Sen Sense City. Sense City? Okay, and Gamma, let's boot that up. Okay, um, info. Game Bar Archos, Archos, powered by Unreal Engine 5. Damn. How to play v uh, Vazda. Um, okay, okay, oh, Statter, Statter. Starter content by Epic Games and UAE Print setup by Bartos Kamal Kaminsky. Okay, I see. So he actually created it for the blueprints. That's kind of cool. The blueprints, if you don't know, is a visual scripting tool for Unreal. Basically, it's coding without any text. Well, there is text, obviously, but without any code text. 
You can skip this, just press space. Why would I skip such a wonderful looking cutscene? After Oleg and Tolian found a house to wait, to wait out the night, oh, okay. Ah! They decided to celebrate it. Tolian, as always, started drinking a lot, and Oleg didn't like it. Oh, Tolian. You raging alcoholic bitch. Therefore, Oleg took away Tolian's beer and said that he could not drink until morning. I like the style of it immediately. It's like all drawings on a cardboard, but he didn't know what would happen if Tolian didn't drink. He'd sober up. Oh no. You don't want to have Tolian be sober. Wow, we are really fast. The mouse sensitivity is fine, but can we change the walking speed? Excuse me? Can I hide? I kill you if I see you. What did the fuck stain? This is interesting. Okay. Can we Oh god, he's speaking Russian, I think. I'm not sure what the it said like what Pikelige language? I don't actually know what that is. <coughs> okay, he sounds like he's in here though. Dude, I just want you to be sober. Oh, that their shadows moved there. Or I don't know, maybe not. I love the style of it though. It's like old cardboard. <laughs> and a flashlight looks really nice. Why are you running, Oleg? I have leg in my neck. <gasps> Picadora! <laughs> Good sleep. Okay, so that sound when I die, I actually know that sound. But, um, holy shit, that got me. Damn. I was just not expecting him. Dude! Okay. <sighs> Why am I hand sticky? I'm sorry, I have to take care of that. <clears throat> Fun fact about me, I absolutely hate sticky things. So, when my hands are sticky, I immediately need to take care of it. One time I uh, uh, fizzed up a cola and it got on my fingers. So I had to take a fucking two-hour shower. Okay, but when he sees us once we die... Can you not escape this dude? Holy shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's actually bringing us to bed. And the doors stay opened. Oh, key. What the fuck? What? This is not a mirror. It had a reflection of the key, the fuck? Is he blind er if I'm having the flashlight out? Shit, come on, crouch. Buddy, where the fuck are ya? Shit, there's like a million log... I... <laughs> I don't think the audio... Hey! Oh shit. Was he here? I don't know if the audio is 3D or not. Fuck, I need to stop being a pussy. Okay. Whoa. Basement. I didn't even really play the music. Fuck stains. Doing all of these fucking inhales is gonna make my throat kill itself. Fuck. Okay, let's see if we can hide. Oh, we can. You just need to turn off the flashlight? Maybe I'm not sure. I don't fucking know. Okay, I know he was just upstairs, but... I don't have another place to go to, really. It genuinely seems like he's just like everywhere I go, he's there. 
Does he teleport? Oh, that's... I think that was for the key. That door didn't have a lock. Oh, I dropped it. Come on. There! <laughs> okay, I guess it's not for it. Can I drop it again? Just so I know it's here. It's right up the stairs. I hope the items don't reset. It seems hard. Oh shit, that scared me. Okay. There we go, that's the red key. I just needed that, but... Uh... Oh, it's cozy in here. Yeah, that's nice. Man, Unreal Engine 5 is making one more seriously. Ooh, green key. Okay, don't know, we will need this. What? <laughs> the door got me. We do actually need... A lot. Where are you, dude? I can hear the doors, but I don't know where are they coming from. Okay, this time he didn't see me. Okay, so he does not... Probably does not teleport. I genuinely don't know. Where did he go? He's either very fast... Or he just straight up teleported. So, shit! <laughs> Okay, so there was the door with the two... Oh, I still have the key. Nice. Okay, I saw a place to put those keys. In that long, uh, big hallway, which I think is right here. Yes, it's here. There you go. We need a black key as well. Shit. Close it! These seals from the upstairs? Dude, I don't know. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> no way. Oh, you give a quip. <laughs> he gives a quip. He gives up. He gives up quick. That's what I meant to say. The black one, maybe. Yeah. Okay, so now we have all the keys, technically. Or at least we know the location. Okay, so this way and there, then here. You son of a bitch! The beat is buzzing though. Hi. Son of a bitch. I'm so lucky that the keys don't reset. Hey, that was quick. Where are we even? Didn't we say that we got, went to a party? What? How did I get here? Son of a bitch! There! No. <gasps> it's fucking design, though. Oh, shit! Okay, come on, run! What in the fu- Are we sure that he's the one that's been drinking too much? Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Oh, that was cool. The hallway was invisible. For I don't know how to commentate over this. Let's just run. Come on, come on, come on. He's gonna catch us. He's gonna- we're gonna put our cardboard inside of our cardboard hole. See right behind us? I don't wanna turn around. <laughs> Did we do it? Have we done it? We have done it! Okay, so that was actually the Arca was the little puppy that was inside of the toilet. Okay, don't touch Tolian beer. I, I guess it should more so be don't totally ends. I don't know. I don't even know. I didn't even know that it was a name like totally end, but I hope I'm not butchering that. I am. <coughs> I have a serious issue. I fucking like this game. It's first of all, it's style. The cardboard style is very unique. Like I don't think we ever seen that before. It kind of reminds me of Bendy. You know, it like with it's having a unique style and uh, it's just more so chase sequences and you know random happenings and uh, even like the color scheme seems kind of bendy-ish. Um, the story was very simple, more like humoristic than anything. 
Um, so it wasn't all that scary. However, the dump scares did get me. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. The, the keys were pretty easy. Uh, it wasn't all that big. I don't know what how the patrolling AI of Tolian works though. Like. Um, genuinely seems like he's either too fast or he teleports but uh, that's okay it's like it's possible I did it so everyone can do it and so yeah I'm gonna give this game a bit <coughs> 7.52 yeah I think that's fair I think this deserves a 7.5 this was pretty damn good especially for the style um, also it looks like the music is original because I actually know the guitar plugin um, so yeah so it's called haunted the guitar on FL studio Um, but uh, yeah, uh, let's go on to the next game. What happened? Wait. I already don't like what's happening here in a very I fucking love it sort of way. Okay, so this looks fucking awesome so far. Uh, it looks a bit, you know... Like, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, puppet game? No. Mascot. A mascot game. <coughs> like that subgenre of horror games these days where you have, you know, Grand, Grand <laughs> Garden of Ban Ban, Poppy Playtime is like a children's place with a creature killing everyone. But it looks actually like it's have a, has a focus on a, you know, like very some some violence and that that little video that played on the start is really good like i haven't seen that before that's very weird and unsettling okay yeah this is so much like garden of bam bam and the frame rate is fucking sucky maybe i should actually lower <clears throat> lower it to epic actually it's kind of weird because i have a pretty beastly pc i'm kind of surprised that it's dying on me like this Okay. Okay, so... Oh, shit. Okay, so it only lags when I look at a specific direction. Oh, look. It's the guy from Toy, Toy, Toy Story. Uh, okay. Wow, the wood is very clean. Compared to everything else, the wood is reflective. Okay, we have physics. Uh, don't touch the pet. Don't make him run away. Of course we got spiders. We see by ourselves? No. It doesn't look like they have a model. Okay, so this looks pretty interesting so far. Except for the clear Garden of Ban Ban. Uh, you know, aesthetic. Uh, but yeah, let's... Fanny wants to fly to space with her friends. Well, I support that dream. Oh. Well, sure, let's commit suicide. Okay, no fall damage, good. Work equals I will not eat you. Well, that's <laughs> that's certainly a way to get them going. Is this the pet? I'm touching it. I'm touching him. You know, I, a fun fact: I actually just yesterday woke up with like a this size spider next to my fucking face. Uh, I don't mind spiders all that much, though. It's not. Oh, what? Okay, now it's more like Poppy Playtime all of a sudden. I know it's kind of unfair in a certain way to compare these games, but at the same time, you can kind of know where we are coming from, right? Okay, so let's go back up. I'm kind of nervous about this one. This one looks like it has some lag. Okay, well, that animation was kind of choppy, but so is the whole game. Okay, so this is, this is so much like Garden of Ban Ban still. Okay, arcade. Yeah, okay, so this is... This, it's like, instead of a drone, we have this, which I honestly prefer. I don't like the drone in that game. Okay, that's dark as shit. Okay, never mind. Ooh, arcade machines. What games do we have? Flappy Ghost. Banana Craft. Or Mario, maybe. I don't know. Okay. And a key... Or a phone? It's on some kind of a key code. Where's the music coming from, though? So, uh, it's pretty simple, though. I don't like how it's all like repetitive, like this. 
I think you could have at least made... Like, these are pretty damn simple sprites. I think it could have had at least, like, two more or something. Where are the animal heads? Or just straight-up animals coming out of the walls? Like, right here, the hell? <laughs> That's so weird. Okay, um, can I open this? I haven't tried, I think. Okay, no. Hmm. Alright, uh, we had a key code, so let's try and look for that. Wow, these are very old computers. Hope I have infinite ammo. Oh, there we go. 4826. 4826. 4826. What's that music? 4826. 4826. 4826. 4826. 4826. Okay. 4826. Enter. Oh, shit. <laughs> 4826. Okay. Well, that's not good. Huh. Okay, okay. Oh, is this is a TV? Can we play it on? Uh, 4826. I hope I did that right. Again, I'm I'm sorry, but my memory is trash. Okay, 4826. Let's try again. Wait. From the largest to the smallest. Okay. A four-year-old is taller than a eight-year-old? A two-year-old is taller than a six-year-old? Maybe that's how I am supposed to count it. So, two, four, six, eight. No, from the largest to the smallest. So eight, six, four, two, eight, six, four, two. I think eight, six, four, two, eight, six, four, two, eight, six, four, two, eight, six, four, two. There we go. Nice. Are you gonna reward me with a death? No, but with a, with a scary hand. Okay. Again, very Garden of Ban Ban ish. I'm gonna see you, I'm gonna notice you. No, it vanished. Okay, uh... Right. Okay, so we got a key. It's gotta be for this door, right? Or for the one underground, maybe. Okay, this one. Banzos! Make sure there is no water in your ship. Long hand held fast. Now that's amazing. That's, that's a friendly face. That's a face you wanna hug. Oh god, am I gonna die? What's with the scary music? It's a playground. <coughs> <coughs> Are we gonna find a pila bird? Okay. Where are all these T-Rexes everywhere? Yep, okay, yeah. <laughs> I actually expected that just because of this type of corner. When you see both of these ways, that's such a cliche spot for that kind of jump scare. Okay, it's gonna be a mannequin? No, it vanished. Okay, this game is way too cliche so far. Plus, it's completely imitating Poppy, and this looks like a bug. Slimo wants you to put the toys in. He's, he is, mouth. Okay. Slimo is a fucking pervert. Okay, so here you go, I guess? Where the hell are you coming from? Oh, he is actually going for the wall. Man, from this angle, you kind of look like the Dame to Cosita guy. Anyone remember that meme? You want toys, huh? Greedy bastard. Okay. Oh, it, it vanished. Fuck. Okay, this one. This one. There's something up there. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a giraffe, okay. There, I got toys for your mouth. There we go. I want a hug. Oh, okay. Holy crap. What? What happened? The fuck? Huh? But he went that way. Okay, now he got. <laughs> what? Okay, I think I'm supposed to go to the door where he came from. What? What am I supposed to do? I cannot go backwards either. Yeah, this door is shut. Oh, I can go this way. But he looked so fast. The fuck? Huh, okay, let's... Come on. 
Oh. Come on. Yeah. Oh, that's actually a kind of a cool chase idea. Oh shit, he's right behind me. And the darts have physics. Come on. All those days of Call of Duty. What? What is that sound? And what the fuck is this? Oh, don't tell me some this open and like a barrel fucking took him off or something. Jeez, okay. Floor one. What? What happened? What is happening? Hey! Okay, wow. Um. Wow, this music? Okay. First of all, dude, if you're gonna make a game like this, copyrighted it. Oh, and Unreal. Okay, okay, that's kind of cool. So. Let's just get over the things that I liked about this game. First of all, the atmosphere in the mind menu, however. Because immediately after we started the game, I immediately put two, two and two together and noticed that it was just, uh, you know, Poppy, play uh, I mean, Garden of Ban Ban thing. So, Garden copied Poppy, Happy Place copied uh, a fucking Garden, and now it's gonna copy who, but... Um, also the chase sequence the with the gun that was actually kind of cool and the gun in general like um, I think it's kind of fun plus the bullets the nerf looking bullets had uh, physics which is pretty cool um, And the chase sequence when you had to hit the button while running however the chase sequence itself uh, Again a quite clear, you know, just a copy of uh, Garden of Ban Ban um, And I don't think it's like in any of the credits any kind of mention a little combo bomb games. Happy places and unknown train more Okay, yeah. But yeah, other than that, however, this mind menu is good. I like this mind menu. I like the settings, the fact that you have credits immediately, and you also care about the <clears throat> the rights, the copyright systems, although how it could be because you can then use the game for marketing. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, you, it looks like he even got a team. Other than that, I didn't really like it. I was disappointed by it very much because I, from this mind menu and from that little video that uh, happens when you start it, I was expecting something bigger than just a shittier version of Garden of Ban Ban One, and that game already is pretty damn bad to be honest. Um, it's not a, it's not a horrible horror game, but it's just I don't know. It just seems like. The, especially the graphics wise uh, it's not really up there let's hope the other chapters are gonna be better <laughs> happy place however is just like if even the good things in garden of ban ban went badly like the only thing i like better than garden of ban ban if i should compare that to the uh, is that you don't have the fucking drone instead of we have a narf pit darf pit dart pistol which is much better but other than that yeah this game was uh, not that good unfortunately so I'm gonna give it um, a 4.5 out of 10. So we got a 7.5, 7.5, and a 4.5. Um, the jump scares went good. The ch the chase sequence started very wrong. Like at least I do like realize what happened in there. He went to the right door, which is where the play uh, the director over here, Mr. Hazem Nasser, Nasser. Um, expected you to go to but you know uh, if you don't if you just stay there you try to return he still catches you even though he doesn't go towards you he has a path instead of him following you and so if he goes through that path um, you know he he just catches you it did, however seems like that he did think about that because he does catch you you know it could have been that he was still running the, the, the hallway and he would not have caught you but because he did that does mean that there's some kind of a trigger box that if you're still left behind that means that um, you know you, you you now have to be caught because you're behind the guy uh, so if that's something that the developer is aware of I think he should definitely make it that there's a cutscene or that the hallway specifically starts with you having no other way to go or him appearing behind you and then you run forward you know like he did in the end uh, of the of the second game that he appeared behind you and then we had to run through a hallway that's much better than it being a, a little <laughs> a little sidewalk you know other than that yeah I gave my rating uh, I still stand by 4.5 and uh, yeah, I think that will be it for this video. So if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't just dislike it, I won't care to see your own opinion. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.